Okay, this project is hard to describe. What I've done so far is you'll need to make a cube, but with the centers missing, so it's like this. So I've made it up of four 26 millimeter by 26 millimeter by three times 26 millimeter, so three cubes. Um, 78 millimeters long and what I'm doing now is marking and I've, I've got this just loosely put together so that I can see the grain get the grain orientation running all in the same direction and then what I'm doing is I've marked every piece where the face that meets the hole I've put a line and I'll have to put them on better you know prop accurately center center line and then on the side there's another one that meets the face and that's so you end up with two lines um, on every piece where they meet the, the holes so I just need to uh, my cubes moved in okay so the reason for doing this is what we're going to do now I've made the jig see if we can see it there it's just a face plate and I've got my off cut pieces of 26 mil and I've made the things that can hold the piece of wood uh, one of these pieces of wood and I've got a line which I scribed in with the, the tip of my router with a V bit and then I'll put that, turn that into a pencil line. I'm going to route right through that. I've got this locked off, and I used a digital angle fight be be bevel box, they're called level box, one of these things to uh, make sure that this is at 90 degrees to my surface that I'm going to be. Uh, you could do this more accurately on a router table, but I've decided to do it using the, the router on the, on the lathe just because makes it a bit more something I haven't done before so I've marked my tops as well so I'm going to do that all the way through as I go through this but I'm just going to move that and I'll bring back one piece so I'm going to accurately center each piece Put a couple of pieces of masking tape across. Oh, this is just held together with double-sided tape and super glue. Um, the, 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 these are attached to the face plate with double-sided tape, super glue. So I'm going to bring each one of these in. Oh, we're going to move some rubbish, and then route a V groove across, and. The depth of that v-groove is it divides the face of that wood into three so I looked on you know I just did a bit of Pythagoras theorem and the depth dividing that by three is 8.66 so to get a depth of V with the same length of face you've got to go 6.13 deep or 6.1 deep so I've got a, a stop set up a depth stop six and I just judge it to just try and make it just over six on a router table you could be dead accurate with this so you'll end up with a V in every center that's pointing towards one of the holes in the um, block I'll just get that back oh hard to move this about uh, that's got to be there and there there and there just move that one out there and there oh grain the wrong direction so it must be that one yeah and that one uh, 
and the one that's in my lathe. So what we'll end up with when we glue all this up is a V in each one of these. And because that length is the same as that length, is the same as that length, is the same as all the sides of this star, that it's going to create an eight pointed star with all the same side lengths um, when we glue this up into a cube. Right, and then one of these pieces of wood that we've used on here would become a mandrel to, to turn this into a sphere. So we can just put the mandrel through the holes one after the other and turn this cube into a sphere using that method which I've never done before either so that is my plan um, it, it will work if, if I get everything right if I don't make any silly mistakes I've just got to keep track of the grain orientation and which piece is which kind of thing on here so I'm going to make sure I go I'm going to label this so that I can't go wrong. So yeah, these centres have got to be marked accurately with a you know ruler and square to line them up on your jig to do the routing. If you do it on a router table, fine, it's easy. Just that there's two phases, centres of these 26 mil cube cubes, um, two faces, and on those longer edge cubes. I just did that to make it the stronger structure when it's glued up. Um, so I'll do some of the routing. I'll show a little bit of it and uh, then glue it up and I'll come back after that with it glued up. 